In this video, you will learn how to create new drawing layouts and edit existing ones. A drawing layout defines the tables, paper sizes, spaces, and margins used for drawings. Let's see how you can edit the layout of this assembly drawing. You can access the drawing layout editor in several ways. For example, when you have the drawing open in Drawing Properties, go to Layout and click Edit. Let's adjust this drawing layout. First, add the drawing sizes that you want to use. You can select among predefined drawing sizes or add custom ones. Tecla Structures automatically selects a suitable size for drawings if you have enabled it in the Drawing Properties. Select this checkbox for the sizes that you want Tecla Structures to choose from. Then, set the drawing frames and their margins. If you want to use fold marks in your drawings, you need two frames. Enable both the primary and the secondary frame. Then, define the color and margins for each frame. Now, enable fold marks and set their spacing. You can now apply these settings to the layout. Next, add a new table. Select a table in the list and click the position where you want to place it. If you want to move a table, first, click the table to select it. As you can see, two handles appear. The handle that is further from the table determines where the table is anchored. The closer handle determines where one corner of the table is located. Click either one of the handles, hold down the left mouse button, and drag the table to a new position. Tecla Structures shows the distance between the table corner and the closest anchoring position, either in millimeters or in fractions of inches, depending on the environment. To place the table, release the left mouse button. Feel free to rotate and scale tables to make them better fit the current drawing layout. If you don't need a particular table in your layout, just select the table and remove it by pressing Delete on the keyboard. You can also define the minimum margins between drawing views and the drawing edge and the minimum spaces between drawing view frames. If you want to use the layout for other drawing types, select them here. Now we are happy with our layout. Let's save it. If you don't want to overwrite the original layout, type a new name for the updated layout. Select the drawing sizes for which you want to use the changed layout. Obviously, the exact same layout might not work for all drawing sizes. That's why you can adjust the included tables and their positions separately for different drawing sizes. Oh,